Yeah, I much prefer Juggalo. Mm -hmm. Yep, AG have, uh, have, have done that in the past. So we've got uh, many different bands this time round. Uh, Wyman, Wisp, Steady bands from Secret, but two completely different bands. We got Doom, we got Shadowfiend, we got Tusk, we got Slada. The whole. But if you look at the heroes that are powers. left, Slardar, Doom, like I think Dazzle was the best first pick to go for there, even yeah. though it kind of sucks giving up Doom. I think Dazzle is their proper response. Well, I think Dazzle to Doom. Fine. Yeah, yeah, Dazzle is fine. Dazzle yeah, Dazzle is fine. No, I agree. With, with how the bands went, this is what, exactly why Dazzle is good. You just banned out three of the, the most favorable supporters, supporters aside from the Bane Elemental, and you immediately get the Dazzle, the, the one hero that OG has really succeeded with. Yeah, exactly. The trade-off being, like, you have to give up the Doom or the Sword or whatever OG won at that point in time, but I think Dazzle is the best well-rounded opening. It's 9 and 0 in the last three days, but... There was, there was probably a chance of them getting either Doom or the Shadow Fiend as well, just because of how much OG has played Tusk and how good Prit is on it. So is that a Slaughter again from Secret? I think it's actually de decent versus Doom and decent versus Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend, a BKB hero, and he can kind of just run away if he gets Doom. He usually gets spells off. I think it's more than decent. I think uh, Slaughter is the best offlane response to Doom. Just because he has low armor in the beginning, you provide better initiation than the Doom does. The most. Misery has sort of redeemed himself. Despite losing two of the games of the three they've played thus far, they did just win and he did fine in game two as well. Is it reasonable to assume that Secret are thinking already about going for a Wraith King again? Versus this Doom? From yeah. OG? I think so. Yeah, I think so. So, OG ban it, bait it out so they can pick an anti mage. Which one? Any of the above? I don't think so. I don't think they're going for this anti mage pick up when they already have so the So, do they ban out the Wraith King? If you. Yeah, I, I think you ban away the Wraith King because if you don't have room for the Beastmaster and you don't want to go the AM yourself, and I don't think they can because they have both Doom and SF, there'd be a lot of farm between three different cores. Must be another answer to Wraith King than just Beastmaster and AM. Well, there was Phantom Lancer, but that's already banned out. Yeah. Any other Necrobook carriers? I guess Queen of Pain with Necro, but that's not in style at all kill his team, which you suggested last game, which completely failed OG. I suppose Meepo is decent. Meepo is decent. That's a, that's a good call. So Secret banned out Gyro Cutter last game in hopes of forcing No Tail onto less of a comfort hero. I sort of expect him to nope, go for the Tusk instead. OG should probably ban out the Ember over the Wraith King. I'd be a lot more frightened for the Ember Spirit. Hmm. It needs to be said that Envy also had a really good start on that Wraith King for him to actually succeed as much as he did. If, if the tables were turned, if OG had the upper hand, the advantage, Wraith King is no longer good at all. Like, if you can kill off his entire... Team, he's just gonna die twice. So, do you think that picking up the gyrocopter, if OG leave that in the pool, third picking the gyrocopter for themselves, getting good aggressive carry to create space for Miracle, is that enough pressure to put on the Wraith King? It depends, because right now Moonmander can't put out the same kind of aggression as we normally see him on with his stun heroes. He doesn't have a slider, he doesn't have a clockwork, he doesn't have an Earthshaker. Mm -hmm. Doombringer, I think. They could have just have No Tail play the Beastmaster now, farm up the Beastmaster, rely on, on the Shadow Fiend and the Doombringer as enough for the late game, especially because Beastmaster can take out any one hero on his own if he gets farmed and levels with, with Book and Blink. I don't think that's a bad strat at all. And, and OD needs to stay in line with how they prefer playing, which is early game pressure, objective-based Dota, where they run around as a unit. I agree with you. There. Why didn't they go for a last game though? Why spend? Beastmaster has been more their go-to than like the Rogue Knight. Ah, the do. Building up some armor. I, I like this. It's one of the toughest dual off lanes to face up against, and it provides a response to both Slardar and Thazzle. Ice armor will completely cover the amp damage or the weave, but it'll give you a little bit of assistance. I think this game is gonna really show just how much versatility OG actually have in their draft. Ten seconds. Hmm. 
So is this still a good Meepo game? Perhaps? Fly the side, you mean? I think more for OG, but I guess, I suppose both sides could still run it. I mean, I really like the idea of the Beastmaster, I gotta say. I mean, as much as I want to watch either of them play the Meepo, the Beastmaster just makes a lot of sense to me right now. Is there any point in time a Beastmaster isn't a good hero? <laughs> what about for Moon? Oh, we saw Clockwork Band out last game. Is the Earthshaker... I don't, I don't think it was the best setup for him, because he's like a very bursty hero, which is exactly what Wraith King is very good against. Do you think there's a hero that he can have more of an impact on? You don't think he's playing the Doom? I hate it whenever we see these one position Doom bringers. I don't, even though some of them have won, including Team Secret with Eternal Envy a few times, I don't think it's, it's the strongest. If you get Lich, that almost... For me, it all but assures that you're running dual off, yeah. and then okay. Moon is playing it. I think if you go the carry Doom, you don't grab Lich. Though, no, you've got an SF min as well. It doesn't the crit Rubik that. makes a lot of sense. A great Bane hero. Counter to Bane hero, I should say. Seeker's approach to Shadow Fiend and Doom. Good anti-BKB heroes in particular. With a Bane in the Slar. Meepo's still not half bad? Yeah, Meepo's still not half bad. I think they have good ways, uh, good ways of protecting him. Just gonna pull the trigger on it. Maybe confirming NV Sierra before they go for it, though. It's a Jugger. Okay, still think Meepo's fine. Juggernaut actually is a great responding hero to... Uh, Doom, if you have your healing ward out, whether for an ally or you already have it preemptively out for yourself, it's actually an accurate response to the uh, damage over time of Doom. Is Juggernaut good versus Meepo though? I think it works both ways. Because we've seen the super farm heavy Juggernauts with Battle Fury, and I actually think that's pretty good versus them. Yeah, if they go to standard sure. build, the drum or the old standard build, which is the drums S and Y, it's not good at all. But I think the Battle Fury one is, is very, very good. We've talked a lot about the Juggernaut, but I don't think Secret have actually used it that much. It's a great band coming out from OG. The Magnus? Knowing that Team Secret loves comboing these melee carries with their, with their mech. It's a little fly something to think about. It is still Weeha's hero. Missing. Rightfully, it's Beastmaster Ben. These teams are very familiar with what the other one is thinking. Oh. I like Brewmaster. I was just gonna say, Brewmaster would give them. They needed initiation, they needed more team fight power, something that doesn't really care about Slardar or Juggernaut. Brewmaster is actually probably the best early activatable strength hero you could get. Notel is somewhat of a Meepo god. Uh, not a Meepo, a Micro god. <laughs> well, also a Meepo <laughs> god. So, I think we're in for a treat here. We've had in three Brewmasters yeah. so far, Invoker. none of them have won. Bane is going to have a hard time up against this. Like... Oh, and Alchemist, the Alchemist is the final pick for Team Secret. Right, here we go then. Team three. OG need one. Let's find out where Game 4 goes with Toby 1 and Sidrid. That's right, let's see what is going to happen. OG, they were looking at two easy chances and then a hard one coming later on when the series gets leveled up but for now it is 2-1 still in favor of og they pull out the brewmaster for the first time here in the grand final how's it going to play up against team secret it's a really strong duo with doom you engaged with you engaged with Scor scorched earth you use the primal split and you kind of force the enemy to fight into a doom instead of being able to disengage they also have the strong laning with the lich together with the Doom. So I like this draft from OG a lot, considering that a lot of their primary tools were taken away. I still think if this is heroes they're comfortable with, they have a, a good draft against what Secret have this time around. Of course, the concern a little bit online, but with the Lich, the laning phase can look a lot stronger, and uh, we're going to get ourselves into the game right now as it will start. Game number four, it isn't a 3-0. 
it is going to be going potentially the whole distance. How far? We'll find out right now. OG, we'll see if their laning combo can work. If the Doombringer, the hero of this current meta, even if he has dropped off a little bit during this tournament, becomes even stronger and kicks in the SF. It was the dream picks for OG. The Team Secret also messing around for the first time. We won't see a team from the Dire side try and take over the Radiant Jungle. Instead, it's the top rune area. Yeah, Secret wanted to secure this rune for their Alchemist, of course, and... I was thinking about the reason behind the Alchemist pick. It's not a hero we have placed that often, but he does play it on occasion. And the thing is, when you're playing against this kind of brewmaster, the enemy team will be looking to take these team fights and asset sprays against it for defending your towers, buying time. You have a really good carrot to give Aghanim Scepter to in this game. The Juggernaut uh, can benefit from that a hell of a lot in his item build. Um, and of course, should the game go long enough, I don't think OG have what it takes to win. They have a, a Shadow Fiend carry, basically. Doom does not scale as well as other heroes going into the super late game. Brewmaster is known to fall off. He has great control, but you start being able to kill off the Broodling, so misery here. Yeah, he's trying, trying to contest for, for the top He's going to get it, too. Yep, and this will slow down the bottle of Miracle. It may cost him his life, however, as the raids are connecting, too. And the third one's there from Miracle, and it's going to connect. The first blood goes to OG and kind of makes up for the cost of losing the bounty ring. Absolutely. He was trying to take away some lane presence from Miracle there. But instead, he ends up giving him uh, a little less little experience, little... but more gold. Crit and Fly are starting in this mid lane, so they're going to babysit Miracle in the early stages. Alchemist did go for, obviously, the Greeble Street because he got the, the rune early on. But now he's got that second level, the Asus Spray is going to keep flying Miracle back a little bit. Parallel just offering a little bit of support. That means you get a melee on melee, Misery versus the Brewmaster. And we saw this previously, obviously we're switching the heroes around. Highlight I actually in real trouble here. The raises are up again. There's no one, um, actually, is that the last range raise? It's not enough damage to kill off Highlight Eye. Critter's boots. He's got the movement speed, but Paladai's got the regeneration. He's got Brain Sap in two seconds time. Yeah, he'll be all right. He'll give close. up. Very close. In the bottom lane at the same time, Puppy is doing a good job stoning out. Top lane, Pilot Eye has moved oh, all the way mind. up. They've already got the crush and no tell. He's not a healthy man. Pilot Eye needs the space here, but Misery, he's got the movement speed available. And now with the mana, he's got the crush as well. But Crit arrives for his own control. No tell, so damn low. The brain steps have cooled in two seconds time. One second, it's low, but not low enough. OG keeping their safe lane alive. And no tell wants to come back in again. Pilot Eye dies, he doesn't have this brain sap again. But they're munching through tangos, and Misery's ready to fight. The top lane for Secret could get pretty tricky if they rotate the Lich away from mid lane and keep Doom solo bottom. Moonmander's gonna have a very hard time. He's got two CS, I'm guessing he got one of them with Devour and just managed to get one other. He's being zoned out very well by Puppy down here earlier with Poison. Which of course, this ability does deal a lot of physical damage on level 1. You're looking at a Doom with zero base armor, he really has a hard time standing up against that. And Eternal Envy. Might see him go for quick face boots so that they can oh, uh, run Puppy's down he's got the haste. He's oh. coming in with Poison Touch, uh, and Envy is not going to feel comfortable enough to have a crack. They can potentially dive this tower even to kill Moon Meander if they get a creep wave to tank for them. Poison Touch and Spin together do really good damage. It's still only level 1 Scorched Earth, so the healing not that significant just yet. And they're going to try for it. Jumping in with the Blade Fury. Moon. Well, Envy keeps going north, so he doesn't inflict the damage to the Doomringer. It wouldn't have been enough because of Scorched Earth. The Puppy trying to get himself a little bit of distance between himself and Moon. Interesting to see, too, that the Fly has rotated himself down. So they might try and punish Envy while he doesn't have his Blade Fury. Hey, he have no killing potential whatsoever without Scorched Earth. True. Okay, maybe if he's up this far and stays with the entire creep wave. A level 1 Frost Blast. Doom should be okay. No aura is available. In fact, no envy. He oh, just okay. TPs. He just gets the hell out. They've got no stuns, so they can't stop him. And Puppy will just control the wave in the meantime. Very safe play here from Envy, but the rotation from Fly, very useful as well. Like securing some CS here from Moon Meander, forcing the TP out. He also counter warded on the way to at the bottom rune, so Weeha doesn't know for sure. Uh, well, he does still have a ward at the top rune, actually, so they're going to be okay, knowing at least one of the runes. This top lane's going to be really careful now. Like, one, okay, yeah, Paladise pulling over, but he's got Nightmare. Well, he doesn't have a lot of levels, it's only level 2, so that n that nuke from Brain Sap isn't really a lot of damage. You've still got the Enabler, so you're able to get Slider into a good position to attack. That's why the Ruby kind of has to stay here.
it looks like Weehan is playing Alchemist differently from what we've seen from mainly, or well, only from Miracle here in, uh, in the previous series. And I believe, did they have it in one game of the final? That's what, regardless, Miracle goes for one point concoction, or we're seeing Weehan running the full greed build. No point concoction, 302 build, focusing on the economy, getting big early. Opening. Maybe a hint that he's going Radiance. Opening on top as Pylai die. Well, he's not going to Nightmare for this just yet. And uh, in fact, potentially could have. Then Slana he goes with Rana for, for Sap. <laughs> Throwing any to both. Hello. Alchemist getting brought down by the Shadow Fiend. How'd that happen? It shouldn't. But he catch catches him just before the Alchemist hits level 6, so there was no ulti available for the regeneration. And level 3 raises. Bring down the elf. That's a, such a big kill. That's probably the biggest kill you could get right now for OG. Not only do they kill the elk, but it's a solo kill for Miracle. So big benefits here. Doom now level 5 in the offlane too. I think OG are getting quite a lot out of this con compared to what I thought they were with the start that Moon Meander had. But just that little bit of Lich rotation makes a big difference. He's stacking as well, so there's a quad camp available. They're about to go Miracle. again. Crit coming in from the side. He needs to actually run directly in from behind the tower in order to catch Weeha. Oh, nightmare. Yeah, actually locking Miracle in position. Weeha's in no position to fight. And with Crit hanging around him, they knew they couldn't get in, like a guaranteed follow-up stun. They just can't kill him without a point of concoction. They... True, yeah, there is no follow-up stun. And Meander and Envy gonna exchange abilities. So be careful. This Scorch does it halfway through its duration. Puppy gets some good damage in. The Poison Touch isn't really slowing down Moon enough in Eternal Envy. Not level 6 just oh, yet. This is a good but TP Misery from moving in from the side. Even an extra crit arriving from Eternal Envy. But speaking of crit, now he's there throwing back Envy, stunning up Misery. But they've still got that speed. The advantage going into crit. He'll let the Fate Ball go, but with the spin as well as the crush. You pick off the Rubik, but you keep the Doombringer alive. And you also force four heroes from Secret to move over to take this. And now, well, Nightmare on Miracle, and move forward. It's the Doombringer who's now Nightmare up, and Pylai Dai. Well, Envy, he's still not level 6 yet. In fact, Miracle oh. with a rage is Pylai Dai down at 38. Miracle once more. One attack would do it. He's got the speed. 315 versus 355, and Pylai Dai will drop. Misery's going to try and punish this, however. Moon back into the engagement. He's got the Scorch just up. Looks like Envy as well as Puppy, they don't want a bar of this. Envy would love to be level 6 right now. He's still struggling to find the experience he needed to perform a very important kill there. No, Misery is not going to let Fly have this. No, he's trying to go for the D-Ward. And with Weeha hanging around, this is easy money. End up giving it over to Pylai Dai with his attack. Now they can protect their ward as well if they Wait, want to send Pai. Oh, Well, instant revenge. Granted for OG. Miracle finding yet another kill. Support for support trade-off. And also this pressure coming into the area where Alchemist really wants to farm. And we're seeing the build from Weeha being only a Sage's Mask, so I think this is a straight Radiance. Else he could have stopped for a Soul Ring on the way or maybe gone for a Medallion. Cred. Oh, gonna get lifted. He's here. Pick him up, throw him down. The Rage is number one. He needs to pop that Chemical Rage. It was one second off cooldown. Now they go for the Brewmaster. All he's in here. Weeha Puppy needs a Shallow oh. Grave, but not in time! The Raiders from Miracle are able to connect. Misery was taken out of the fight for so long. The Brulings, they've only got another four seconds left on them, but maybe enough time as Envy also dies to the Doombringer. Now Brewmaster Notar back into his normal form. The Nightmare will keep him here for now. But there's really no follow-up to that. It was down on bottom lane where Moon was able to get that kill on Envy, back behind the T1 tower. Yeah, with all the rotations coming into mid to try to save the Alchemist, they have nothing left to protect Envy with, and it's a simple kill for Moon by using Doom. Envy might be looking for revenge here, but he's only level 5. No Omni Slash is just not possible to get this kill on the Doombringer. And this time OG have the good early game that they've been looking for in every single of these games in the finals. Didn't manage in the last game, but this time around they're looking good. <laughs> Probably making the right choice not to go to his jungle because that's where Misery is able to catch out the Doombringer. Still a level 5 slaughter, so no amplification. And Doombringer getting body blocked for a moment. We are still with no points up in Concoction. A lot of body blocking, but really no stuns, no follow throughs. And really, how do they kill a Doom with a level 3 Scorched Earth plus the ice armor he's got from devouring the creep? Envy? Okay, maybe that was one way he thought he could do it. And I say the Doom in the river, but only three Omni Slashes is not going to be enough. And Weeha is fully committed to his build already. He bought the Radiance recipe first. So he's hiding it in the base, not showing his build, but it's going to be 
very obvious for OG when they see he still doesn't have any items on him in just two minutes, that that's what he's going for. It's going to be big, however, because he's going to have this quad stack in a moment. So he pulls it up. Even if the Dyer are watching it, they can't really do anything to stop it. But they get a trade and step, and that's the tier one tower. If they take the tower, they can go and contest, maybe. Oh, Miracle moves forward. Misery. He does have this level six now, so Miracle. He'll be a little bit more careful as the amplification's put on him. No easy ways for OG to get rid of that. Weeha. Really wants to take that stack now. Needs to wait another three seconds, yep. but he'll be happy to do so. And this allows Misery now to get a couple of levels and uh, farm in the mid. He can't keep the SF out, and it looks like now OG, they are coming to contest. Crit and Fly are moving over. They can soak up a little bit of the experience, or they can go for the kill. They're gonna find Puppy. He already has Observers and Sentries down, so I think Puppy can just Shallow Grave and buy a little bit of time. Maybe if he can time right, the Hellbears will just hope the clap comes in. As he does, Puppy gets denied to the Hellbear. That wasn't even the clap. That was just a basic attack. Middle tower is under attack. But this tier 1 tower still belongs to OG. And the stack, Weeha's not finished it yet. They've still got two pick creeps, which no tell can now clap and steal all leaves them for Miracle. But Weeha got quite a bit there. So, got some way to go for the Radiance, and Shadow Fiend is doing so well this game. Miracle is 5 0, 70 CS. I think MV's dead. Uh, spin TP out. OG not there in time to really stop it. You know when you're playing against an alchemist who's going greed build and you're 2,000 gold ahead of him at minute 10? That means you're in a very good position. And now the challenging thing for Secret is going to be buying enough time. Their fighting potential is way inferior to OG. They have the Blink Dagger Brew, they have a Shadow Fiend with Mech, they have a Doom, they have Chain Frost. Secret's heroes are not level of supports, rather not level 6 yet. Oh. These are tough times, actually. Envy catches no tell, or I should say it's the other way around. No tell's got his ulti available. The spin will come from Envy, copying a lot of damage. The Weehaw's in the neighborhood. Pylite dies as she dragging the creep wave down, so the T1 tower takes damage. But on bottom lane, Miracle as well as Crit are having a fantastic time. They'll remove that T1 tower on bottom lane. And Doombringer is keeping him out of the mid, but it's the top lane. Where Misery initiated on by that Blink Dagger Brewmaster. No tell already with that Blink. Misery is still dreaming of completing that, but Weeha needs to take this money on top to finish the Radiance first. Yeah, he's closing in. Another thousand to go. This is not one of the faster Radiances we've seen in the tournament. So already, those two deaths he has in the mid lane cost him a lot of trouble. What are we looking at for the other heroes? So Juggernaut went phase, Boots has a thousand. Sardar, 700 off the blink. Puppy has Boots, great. We have Tranquils on the... Bane, and on the other side, you pair. Actually, the supports are fairly this even in net worth, surprising to me. This is a Roche move from Secret. This is so bold, actually. They have a level one healing ward. They can break through the shield of Roshan, the, the amplification up, but now the smoke breaks, a moon in the neighborhood, but it's nighttime. He doesn't see anything. So he'll move down to the 12 minute rune, realize it's missing, and now, in fact, checks Roshan. Secret making the right choice to bail out. Secret making the not game losing play. <laughs> Why not going into the pit there? That would have been an absolute disaster. The TP already came in from Brew with Blink Clap ready. And now OG are doing it. Yep. They will take a little while to do it, but they do have level 1 aura at least on the Shadow Fiend, so minus 3 armor. And what do they really lose here? Absolutely nothing. I don't think Secret can do anything about it. They've, they've gone for a really greedy last pick in the Alchemist. They have to buy him time. He doesn't contribute very much to the Roche Pit fight just now. They gotta play the waiting game and try not to lose too many towers to this Aegis that will be going OG's way. It's still taking a while to finish it. Yeah, and Pardai is gonna drag the creep wave down. This will try and just be the tier one. Well, Weeha, yeah, back into the Ancients. All right, so finally it's done. Miracle, I think, got bashed up eight times while they try to take that Roshan. But he gets the Aegis Immortal as a reward. Weeha really needs to get every single creep here before leaving, but he can't. There's not enough life. Puppy will give him some. But he's still putting a 3.5k net worth. Uh, 3.5k gold in the bank. 300 short of finishing his Radiance. Envy is running through a ward. Oh, this is a really bad position for him to be in. Fortunately, Boom is not in the neighborhood. Brumos, however, just jumps. Doesn't want to go for the clamp, and, uh, well, what's done if you really got 
going to cancel that TP. Doom, you... but he's not there. <laughs> True. The one hero who could do it is not around, and I think Envy knew it. He saw him on the defensive observer ward they have inside their own jungle. Using it as much as possible to his advantage, but this is still just a game plan that is progressing for OG. Game misery wanted to contest the rune not happening. They just back it up, man. 200 gold to Radiance. The Weeha counter keep continues. It's not an insurmountable lead for Secret, though. They're 2,500, almost 3,000 gold behind. Two. But with the Radiance coming out soon, they'll be able to climb that mountain. 200 gold to go. Moon's playing mind games right now. He's got an illusion next to his real hero, so it just looks like they're two illusions that move to the front lines. Secret is still not going to fall for this, but if they do, shame on you. That's a good attempt. But they dodged the fight entirely, so it doesn't really have any impact, and they will have to concede this tower. This is the right play from both teams. OG have to start putting some pressure on these tier 2s, knowing that they have Aegis advantage, and Secret have no business whatsoever trying to fight into this right now. Yeah. I think it's a split push alchemist game where you just try to drag it out and ultimately just get so big on elk and jug that you can win the game past 40, 50 minutes. It's just how they keep the map control. Like you're talking about split push. There's no real jump heroes. Like you're not looking at storm spirits or like the blink dagger four stuff, earth shaker fissures kind of to catch out these side lane heroes. So it won't be as bad for Weeha, especially when he uses illusions for the, for the push. But how do you ensure you get space for the Juggernaut? Can he always rely on having that spin to TP out? It's very good in this game, apart from, of course, against the Doom. So as long as you have vision on Doom and Rubik doesn't have a blink, you should be okay. You can see Envy feels pretty confident here in the top lane. He's going for a Battle Fury build, so Secret definitely on the same page with what the game plan is in this game. Just entirely avoiding anything. They have to give every single tower that OG want. They just gotta concede it right now. It's a hard call to make, but it is the right one. Yep. And maybe OG just are sick of them dodging. They're staring down that tier 3 tower in the bottom lane. Their entire team is here, ready to fight. Everyone's armored up. And there goes the Radiant Creep Wave. Misery starts the amplification, blinks away before the Brewmaster gets the clap with the ads. Spray down, and the Weave also removing the armor. Well, brain sap on Rubik, that's a really good steal. <laughs> he has 280 magic damage and 300 pure in quick succession. Can Virgil actually hero needs to keep out. He's at, he's at negative 8 armor right now. Yep. Misery playing that front liner. Just trying to buy time for his team, but if he gets caught by pretty much anything, he will be brought down. Highlight eye. eye. Okay, what else has he got? Do they have an urn on OG? They do. They have one urn charge on crit that he could expend on Miracle. They're finally right coming top. Envy starts the TP and they baited it. He actually cancels his TP. OG used two of their own, and Envy is stranded. He he actually cancelled that on purpose, I assume. So he can keep farming and then just believe in his team to keep the defense up. The Weave again, aggressively from Seeker, removing this armor of OG as they fight underneath the Asprey. Crit is not a healthy man. He's dying so heavily to that tower. Not to mention that one creep, that the tier 3 tower is under attack. And Secret, as the sprays off cooldown again at the moment, there's no fortification available. And there's the jump. No tell. Still not going for the split. Now Misery gets the amplification off with Fiend's Grip as well. Have they got the damage? Concoction is available. Toss it out. You've still got no tell. Controlled. And now Pilot I've been thrown in. The Bruma split will be used. The Bane will drop. Buyback is available. And Rubik, he stole Fiend's Grip. Crit has a big control factor available here. And that bottom melee, it is going to drop in favor of OG with the Brewmaster only squaring off. Again, another good weave coming out from Puppy. But with the storm brewing, taking slant around the pitcher, they can't really chase this. They need that stun, but look at Envy with the Invis rune. It's a level two Omni Slash. The armor is still down for two seconds or three seconds of that Omni. Okay, yeah, he's not. No, no, no. While Envy is confident, the Aegis model will time out. The weave has, has run out as well. He just wants one person. Moon's in the neighborhood. He can't kill him. He's not He's even shot. close. Misery's here. Oh, Blink forward yeah, okay. with the crush into the Omni Slash. And Moon, well, they get the Scorched Earth off. They got the amplification with the spin. Envy can't keep up. He doesn't have the movement speed. No tell will move over. They do move over on the slaughter. The no more crushes. And Envy actually leaves Misery high and dry. He'll actually die to the Doom here. Nothing will stop that. But they tried to give it a crack.
and it failed. Even with Amplify, they can't bring him down, and that's because Moon Meander has the Ice Armor and the Plate Mail. Just so much physical armor, even against all this uh, Amplify minus, it just takes away the Plate Mail. He's still tanky enough to survive through that. I think he also quite a few stick charges there to keep him alive. And uh, Envy? Uh -oh. Miracle's done a lot of damage to him already, and that spins on cooldown. Crit doesn't have the high maneuverability, he doesn't have that blink taker yet, even though we're pretty damn close. And Envy just wants to run out of here, pops the healing ward, Miracle keeps the chase going. And that healing ward in front of Envy, they don't have anything to work with. With the weave, they get the vision, it's the fiend trip, hard eye doing it from Fog of War. No brew master all he was not gonna stop Nurtel from jumping in the spin damage. Miracle will drop, and now Nurtel isolated, sandwiched into C Team Secret, even Nightmare over on Crit. Doom will arrive, and he's got no ulti. Envy will look for a little bit more. What have they got left? Crit takes the spin. So at least he'll be able to avoid the sun from Weeha. Concoction in one second time. The damage, he actually aggroes the Ancient, but Alchemist, Weeha times the last attack. Misery, Blink Digger, one second. Blink up the crush will do the work for a Concoction follow-up. Here from Weeha, he even gave the extra bash on the moon. The brain stab that scorched Earth, it's not available. Moon, this time he won't have the movement speed. Crush back off cooldown, and the Chief got got delivered in, but it does not protect enough. Weeha will take a triple kill on this Alchemist and potentially fueling the split push that is Team Secret's Alchemist. That is such a huge swing for Team Secret. Four kills for nothing. They've already lost barracks, so they were plenty of gold behind, which means in turn they claim just as much back and miracle there. Understand why well, he wants to go for that kill, and Envy knows how much it can do, but you're running into absolutely zero vision in a bad tree area, and your Brewmaster didn't have split ready to protect you with. That is a very big loss. That's a Battle Fury over on Envy. It's the Alchemist closing in on... I'm guessing he's going to buy a Yasha right now after the treads, or sorry, travels. This is Secret's game plan. This is all they needed. That one fight and five minutes of farm, and they won't care about the Lost Barracks. OG's coming to fight. They feel like Secret might be weak. At least they got their big abilities back up again. Every ulti available for OG. Misery's in the neighborhood. And the smoke's gonna break as he jumps up and split! It's used over on the Ancients! Pilot Eye's the only hero who's in range to the Brewmaster split being committed. If Pilot Eye survives, it's looking to just run. The uh, Storm Brewling will finally set him up in the air, but you've only got three seconds left for the Brewmaster. And they commit the Requiem and Pilot Eye die. Okay, he lasted a very long time, especially with that ability to brain sap. Puppy will die on the moon. The Doom doing its work. Lich kills securing with the Frost Blast. Puppy thought the entire team was chasing Pilot Eye, but... So he went to Shadow Wave in mid, but Moon reads the movement, turns around, runs down, and dooms him from the side. So they get a bonus kill there. And now OG take the stack. That's a big ancient oh, stack as well. That is really, really huge, actually. The problem is, where do they go after this? Like, they're not really great ancient clearers, so they're taking a very long time to do this. In fact, burning every urn charge they have, they may have to commit the mech to, while Envy farming up with that juggernaut in the top lane misery and Weeha are waiting for the defense at bottom and fly he's the man coming down for this he doesn't have vision over in the tree line and now Weeha shows himself they bring another hero shadow but they're probably not expecting misery in the trees they're still going to win that fight two on two they might win a three on three on two as moon's rotating over he's still walking around with his frost armor creep waiting for the pack wolf forward to arrive but while all this here we go on, again. Juggernaut's still farming up the dire jungle. Roshan starts for OG, but they do this also with Brewmaster split down, and Requiem also down. Envy's absolutely getting stuff, and this is a game where Juggernaut can really get to shine when we get past that 30 minute mark, and he has a damage item. Because it's very clear that OG kind of only has one sieging strategy, which is to clump up all five heroes in the lane, go in, commit the brew split, and if Envy can find any sort of angle on the back line with Omni Slash, he can take out one or two supports. And that's very, very big, but for now, it is going to be another rush on for OG. They'll probably look to take the top tier 1 and tier 2 towers for free with this. Secret aren't letting them have it right now, pushing as much as they can, buying time, which is the name of this game. There are also five men on this top, so if Misery can find the opening, they jump and they keep the numbers advantage in favor of Team Secret. And that will make OG a lot more cautious about moving into their own jungle to try and retake it. But while they got five, caution isn't something they require. So OG fall back. And the farm war continues here from Team Secret to try and stay in front of OG. They are still running an Alchemist who's just about finished his mana style. 
And if he gets an Octarine as well, OG can have real issues taking all of this farm they've got and finishing the game. They have really bad heroes at dealing with split push. I think they have a decent catch for real heroes with, of course, being able to get a blink and just catching you off guard, but... They need to kill Tanky Ilu somewhere down the line, and I'm seeing no one doing that apart from Miracle Shadow Fiend if he gets some serious right-click damage. For now, he's going to use what he has on the top tier one, and as expected, Secret will not contest, just buy themselves some seconds here with the Glyph. And get themselves a bottom rune, and delay the game. Here is the Manta. It is up, and we have already starts his push on bottom lane. I think this, what we're looking at right here, is that the game either ends in five minutes and OG take that fight, or they are likely to lose the game. They built a satanic on Miracle. This is the all-in, let's just go high ground and push, sustain forever against this weak fight that Secrets still have. And if it should work, they'll have a two racks advantage minute 25, and that's, that's good enough against this Elk, even if he gets big, I think. Uh, MV's trying to force him to retreat. And OG, now it's a real there's. And they are coming up. They're going to use Miracle with this Aegis the Immortal. Level 1 and Feeble only. Uh, so not really removing any real damage from Miracle. He just keeps hacking into the tower. And they haven't brought... Okay, now the Alchemist comes back. So the Acid Spray make this a little bit more difficult. And another Weave. This is what Puppy was doing time and time again against OG. And you're going to see Miracle losing a lot of this armor. He's trying to gain Misery jumping forward. They get the Concoction stun. What's Crit managed to take? Ash, he ends up taking Crush. With that Blink Dagger, he's got some good control from this. Envy has taken out tier one tower in the mid lane in the meantime. But if they lose two side racks, no tower turns forward. Weeha gets himself away, but the concoction that Storm Brilling sends him up in the air. It just keeps Weeha out of this fight, allowing OG to finish up the melee racks. They'll take the range as well. Unless Pilot I can find something here like a nightmare. Four star forward, there it is. Catching out Moon. Miracle still posturing on the front lines, but Misery jumps in for a double crush. Keep the amplification up. Concoction start again catching two heroes. They keep hitting all their stuns with the Fiend's Grip over on Doom. Crit jumps forward and instantly they cancel it with Pylai Die actually losing the Fiend's Grip as well as his life. OG getting some good stuff. But they don't really need to commit for much more, but while they've still got this Aegis of the Immortal, the confidence is there, but they don't have the Brew ulti. And these Alchemist illusions are actually causing a couple of problems for them on the back lines. Very difficult to get those Blink Daggers off. You want confidence from Envy? Look at his positioning. He's running up the top lane, even though OG just left here, and his TP is on cooldown. Yep, OG. One and a half lanes of Rex. There's only the ranged barracks in that bottom lane. They can deal with the split push. That's not... The problem isn't that they can't keep the waves out, because Manta, Octarine, Alchemist is incredibly good for that. I'm just worried they don't get enough farm before it's over. Uh, there's so much gold coming OG's way when they get a free lane of Rex like that, that even should the Alchemist get very big, is it worth the Alchemist actually bypassing this and moving into something else like the Assault Curus? Understanding that OG will be attacking a lot sooner. Oh, let's see how this fight goes first, then he can start itemizing. This Maybe. is the potential end of the entire tournament if OG pull this off. They do telekinesis and illusion, but they just want to bring it down. But they do. The split push. Misery jumps forward. You've only got another 45 seconds left of this Aegis the Immortal. Envy also has a decent amount of pressure towards the top lane, but OG won't care about that. The bottom lane's push, pushing in a lot for OG. That's a creep wave and a half. But this is where the fight comes for Team Secret. Can they find the opening? Miracle still dropping low. That Aegis the Immortal. Watch the timing. There's still another 20 seconds until it's lost. A Miracle down to 95 life. It's still surviving. But the Crimson Guard and the heels kicking in. The Doom. Okay. That wasn't the play. Fly, which Alt is gonna fly out, bouncing around, Misery copying a lot of damage from this. Shallow Grave has to be used to keep him alive, and the Fiend's Grip, Crit, Crit is still holding onto it. They'll bring down the Slaughter. Buyback is available at the moment, and they also take Weeha up into the air. Three seconds, two seconds until Chemical Rage back off cooldown. Slaughter needs to buy the space. Weeha just gets blown up by Miracle. The Fiend's Grip, this time it controls Moon. Misery with a double crush, but Envy, not enough damage from as well as the Omni Slash, but it's dropping down quickly, and Weeha, he gets the stun. OG, now they can start losing heroes. The Team Secret, they had to use so many buybacks. Wasn't that only Misery? It was the Slaughter as well as Weeha. Oh yeah, that's right, they have fought back the Alka, so that, that's the bigger one. That is They're a really big problem for them. Miracle, the four staff up, Slaughter's already used his crush, you'll see no tell. There is no split in Weeha. 
wants to go for the concoction, still on cooldown for now. They're chasing after the bigger one. They're chasing after the SF with a crush of Babel. The concoction's still not there, and he just turns the Satanic as well. Smek on Misery on the run. Crit, he's got crush of Babel, but with a Blink Dagger on cooldown, he can't do anything at the moment. In fact, all they can do is kill off Weeha. This could be a dieback right now. Alchemist TPing out. How much damage have they got? They get the stun. Weeha can't escape. Miracle will finally die. But no Alchemist, no Juggernaut. This is a dream moment for OG. They're going to get another kill as well. Into Pile I Die. The bottom lane is pushing. The top lane will soon push. And it is almost a full minute where Secret will have to fight. With three, hopefully only two heroes. Potentially three with the buyback by by the team, but that won't be enough. Uh, if ba if Shadowfiend had buyback there, the game would have maybe ended. He could have bought back and they could have run down mid knowing that Alchemist is out for a long time, but... Hold on for now. This is looking very, very good for OG. A 10,000 gold lead is not really what it's all about. It's more just the position they have on the map and then guarantee that they will get the next Aegis. I see no way for Secret to contest that, but they probably have to. They have to try it, and if they fail, the game is obviously over, but giving another Aegis, just, they can use Brew Split and just have Miracle sit and hit the tower. They will get at least the tower on the range tracks during the split duration. And this is classic OG stuff, this kind of lineup where they utilize the Brew together with Shadow Fiend, and putting the Doom in the mix doesn't make it worse. Looks like Seeker are going to rely on RNG to try and survive. There's double Talismans coming in on the Courier. The other one is meant for Puppy. They sacrifice their buyback in order to have this. Aghanim's on crit. He can steal Omni Slash, Fiend Script, Weave, that benefit from that. But it's more about the cooldown, getting multiple useful spells in the fight. A two second cooldown. So much good stuff to steal as well. Like every Rubik game, when you have Ags, is kind of a good Rubik game. Right, so, OG. Two minutes. That's how long they have to wait for Roshan. Envy just keeps this pressure on the top lane. He's got his Mana Sign with the Battle Fury. With only the buyback on the vein, it doesn't make any sense to save your money. He's got buyback in 500 gold as Misery. He stares down a three-man crowd. He's not going to get anything. That armor of Moon, it was over. It's actually, it's a 55 armor on this Doombringer right now. And Misery's gonna remove a little bit of it, dropping him down to, okay, down to 30 armor. Huge change. <laughs> 30 armor after Amplify. They're just so strong. This is oh, why well. he's not giving up the ice armor, the frost troll. Almost like Weeha's gonna TP back. It's TP. actually a really good choice by Moon to keep that the entire game instead of getting a wolf. I think a lot of players will be tempted to do it and just be like, oh, we can siege even faster. But it's all about just sustaining. As long as they survive through the weave and through the asset spray, they can just step by step. Interesting take this item. tower down. So we have finished up a full Heaven's Halberd. Normally this wouldn't really be effective up against OG, but because Miracle is going for a butterfly build and not the BKB, he can still be disarmed. The problem is it's not damage. So yes, you buy more time, but OG are already playing sustain mode, so... They're coming. They find an opening. It's going to be over on Moon with the Fiend script being committed. What have they got left? Amplification stolen by Crit, but Moon is still going to go down on Willy. He walks away with 500 life. The Brewmaster Split's gone. This is the last hurrah right now for Team Secret. What have they got? Probably not enough misery back in. Just walking towards his death and the Doom on Envy. Crit spins in front of him as he picks him up, throwing Envy back. The Shallow Grave will buy a little bit of time but only a little bit for Doom. It won't ensure the kill. Envy getting a big heal bomb, and Moon keeps trying to fight Envy back into the spin, but it's a double kill for Crit. The Rubik going to work. Puppy's on the retreat, but there are so many OG heroes behind him, all five of them. The Shallow Grave again by time for Secret to buy back two heroes. Concoction flying forward. Keeps Moon now the fight, but again, they lose the Dazzle. Weehaz has a spray. It's making it so OG think twice about coming in, but they thought about it, and now they're coming in. The mid lane, OG staring down the barrel of Megas and Team Secret. They don't have the men to fight this. Stolen concoction. Another stun to be given to OG. And he's already prepping it. Blink forward, looking towards Envy. If he can just at least bait out the spin, that's going to be worth it. And there it is. 18 seconds without spin. Miracle just beating into that melee Rex, and now he actually steals spin as well. 
You can take a little bit of the damage off and a blink three man crush. Envy looking for the damage for the concoction is gonna be there. How much have they got? Misery forced off him away. We are there! Your requiem from Miracle with the razors combined. Secret, they've taken too much damage. OG have got it! They've got the TGR from Secret! OG, they fight all the way through the lower bracket and will be clean the champions of the first ever Dota 2 Major live here in Frankfurt. A huge run, the dream run, achieving what no other team has done and no other team will probably achieve for a very long time.